let me see your beautiful face. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I hope you're having a shit one. If you live in Europe, this probably doesn't apply to you, but in my part of the world, some people go to Europe and then when they come back from their trip, they just don't shut the fuck up about their Europe trip. It's like, all right, mate, we get it. You went to Europe, you had a great time. There's no need to come back home and rub it in my face. And I can assure you that is exactly what is gonna happen on this channel because I went to Europe and a lot of fucking shit happened and I learned a lot. Oh, can you hold this for a second, bro? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? I learned a lot about my photography style, about my editing style. I feel like I sort of found myself, if I'm being completely honest. And I'm probably not gonna shut up about that. So I don't care how much shit you say in the comments section, I will get in there and fight every single one of you. <laughs> no, what I wanted to say, I've now come back to Melbourne with everything I've learnt. I've actually gone out the other night and taken some rainy night pictures in Melbourne. We're gonna jump into Lightroom and I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm gonna edit them. Oh, and before I forget as well, it is Black Friday right now. So if you have been interested in getting presets or my presets or Liam's presets. They're currently 50% off every single one of the packs. We have a V3 pack out now, which is 50% off, but also the V1s and the V2s. Everything on both of our websites on Streamline and 7 Degrees North, everything 50% off for Black Friday. So that's gonna run, um, I think for about five days, starting from now. Yeah, I might chuck on a uh, concrete. I love this preset. Got a bit of blue tinge to it, which we love. I almost don't want to talk about this because it is a very good secret. It did help progress me a lot with, you know, the editing style that, it actually it's not even to do with the editing style, it's actually the shooting style. Exposing your image for the highlights. And what does that mean? It means what is the brightest point in the image. So for this is the reflections on the ground and the taillights of the car. And you can see in the raw image, I've attempted to expose for them. So why do we underexpose our image with mirrorless and DSLR cameras? It's more likely that we're gonna be able to bring back shadows more than anything, but particularly with night photography and my style of photography, I love to be able to work with my shadows, crushing the blacks a little bit and having that sort of ominous feel to my pictures is what I really enjoy. Or that's how I really enjoy editing. So for me, exposing for the highlights, my editing style is going to work a lot better with the darker, grungy sort of edit. Uh, I don't like this X5 here, so I might actually just give it a 4x5 crop. Anyway, I did uh, just put a gradial filter over here and I'm just going to put up the exposure a little bit because uh, I'm a big fan of moderating light in the image. If you're going to have light coming from somewhere, so from the top of the image, there needs to be a dark point at the bottom of the image. Uh, to complement it. What I think it does at least is help your eye centralize to your subject. So I've got a brighter sort of top part of the image here. We can see the raindrops coming down, not too drastic, just bring the exposure down a little bit on the ground. And then we're gonna bring some texture up to really get that dirtiness out of the ground, you know what I mean? So yeah, bring a bit of texture and clarity up, which is nice. Now I'm gonna press K, I'm gonna open up a new mask and I'm gonna create a new mask, uh, select subject, and it did an okay job, I guess. Now that we have the car selected, obviously everything we touch and fine tune is only gonna be affecting the car. So I'm actually gonna press Y. I mean, the, the colors on this preset haven't really been changed too much, but we sort of just uh, uh, click on our use fine adjustment. So we're gonna just change the hue uh, of it very slightly just back to its original red or as close as possible. Um, so if the owner ever watches this video, he's not gonna get upset and be like, that's not the real color of my car, it's actually. I'm only so particular about this because one time I did a job and didn't get the color exactly right on a car for a paying client and they got very upset at me. Like, it was fucked, just. Please, to learn from my mistakes. I like where it's going. I like what we've done. We've been able to see what we've been doing because I've had the exposure up, but now it's time to bring it down. So I'm gonna bring it down a bit. I'm gonna bring the highlights up a bit and exposure down a bit more. And then I'm just gonna briefly touch, this is uh, your shadows and the blacks. So the bottom part of the tone curve. So I'm just gonna sort of bring this up a little bit, this across and up. So we sort of create a little bit of fade in the image. So we're actually gonna lose a bit of detail, uh, but which is great for night photography because you really don't wanna show off all the details because you're most likely gonna have a fuckload of noise in your image. 
especially if you're running around like me, shooting at 4,000 ISO at one over 320th, there's already gonna be noise in the image. Doesn't matter if you shoot on the best Sony ever. We're just trying to reduce noise where we can. However, this is gonna take out some details. So I'm gonna bring up a bit of texture in my image so we can still sort of see these raindrops here. And then I'm also gonna bring some noise reduction into the image as well. Then I'm gonna right click, export, image format, JPEG, quality 100, color space, sRGB. For Instagram, these are my settings. Resize to fit, long edge. 4,000 pixels, resolution 240, sharpen for screen, amount standard, export. And there we have it, folks. Here's the before image and the after of what we've edited. This is just something of my style. I might touch it up a little bit, maybe add a little bit more blues in the shadows, but that's pretty much the style we got. So yeah, with most of my editing, it does help a lot to have presets because then you can sort of add your base and then build on it, which is mainly how I edit. Obviously, if you don't want to spend money on them, there's plenty of free presets across the internet. If you want my presets, I sell a pack with Liam. Uh, we sell them on uh, streamline.store and seven degrees north. Like I said, it's all on Brack. Brack. Breakfast. Breakfast. It's all on Black Friday. It's all on Black Friday. What the fuck am I saying? It's. <laughs> I can't be fucked. You know what? Like and subscribe. That's the end of the video. Uh, yeah, more editing tutorials to come out. Oh yeah, if you want to see more of my pictures, especially from this rainy night shoot, I'll be posting them up on my Instagram at North Borders. So, sweet. See you then. See you in the next one. Keep having a shit one. And I'll see you soon. <laughs> Stop watching!